from the Lakeside Newsroom of the Henrico Citizen, your hometown news source since 2001. This is the Henrico News Minute with publisher Tom Lapis. A change planned at a West End apartment complex and a few things happening around town that you might want to know about this weekend. We've got all the details for you. It's today's Henrico News Minute for Friday, April 15th, 2022. It's brought to you today by the Barnes & Deal Law Firm. And now for the news. Well, the operators of a West End apartment complex are planning a big change there. They are planning to demolish part of the complex to make way for a mixed-use building. It's all planned at the Gateway Apartment Complex at the intersection or just south of the intersection of North Parham Road and Fargo Road near Regency Square. The northern apartment building there adjacent to Parham would be demolished along with the clubhouse, rental office, pool and tennis courts to allow for the construction of a five-story building with 80 studio one and two bedroom units and more than 13,000 square feet of retail space on the first floor. The construction also would include a new clubhouse with a rooftop patio, a pool and pool deck and other amenities for new and current residents. The apartment complex was built in the 1970s. It sits on about 2.3 acres. Well, U.S. Congressman Donald McEachin of Henrico in the 4th District will be the inaugural inductee into the Virginia Interfaith Power and Light Environmental Justice Hall of Fame. According to organization officials, the induction will take place at the boathouse at Rockets Landing at 11 a.m. on Tuesday. The group's Hall of Fame is intended to honor leaders who have achieved the organization's vision throughout their careers. Well, the medical cannabis market is thriving in Virginia, but the future of recreational cannabis, including hemp, is much hazier. Cannabis advocates and smokers are disappointed after a 2022 General Assembly session that saw lawmakers fail to expedite recreational cannabis sales and propose penalties for possessing amounts over two pounds despite lawmakers making it easier to get a medical cannabis card. Our partners at Capital News Service today take an in-depth look at the topic. You can read more about it right now on HenricoCitizen.com. If you're like most of us, a trip to the DMV is about as comfortable as a trip to the dentist, but the agency is trying to make things a little bit easier for you. You now may check in with a mobile device when you arrive for your appointment at a DMV location. All you have to do is scan a QR code and submit a few pieces of information that allows you to skip the visit to the information desk and instead simply have a seat in the lobby until your number is called. According to the agency, last week a customer with an appointment on average waited less than five minutes to be served after checking in. You can learn more at dmvnow.com. Well, tomorrow, the Glen Allen High School Coral Boosters will hold a spring yard and art sale from 8 a.m. to noon. That's at the school, 10700 Staples Mill Road. Stop by and check out what is available for sale. And also tomorrow, the drama department at Tucker High School will host a spring craft fair. That runs from 10 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. at the school on North Parham Road. There will be more than 100 local crafters, makers, and vendors. Funds will benefit drama students who have been invited to perform at the Fringe Festival in Edinburgh, Scotland later this summer. Admission is free. Today's Henrico News Minute has been brought to you by Barnes & Deal. Barnes & Deal has emerged as a highly respected family law firm over the past three decades with the resources, skills, and experience necessary to handle high-asset divorces and other complex family law matters across Virginia. To learn more, visit barnesfamilylaw.com, that's B-A-R-N-E-S, or call 796-1000.